Can you, are you zoomed out enough to see what's going on here? Keep it wide angle too. Keep it, keep it, keep it going sideways. Sideways. Step back a bit, maybe. Welcome back to Redbrook Farm, July 5th, 2009. And what we have here are two five-frame nukes in one ten-frame box. Two separate colonies in one ten-frame box. Uh, one colony is coming and going from this side. The other colony is coming and going from the front. And I've got a divider down the middle. And what I'm looking at today is a week ago I released the queens into these. I took three frames out of another colony for here, three frames with bees, brood, and nectar and pollen. Bee, brood, nectar, and pollen. And then I put a frame of um, just drawn comb that they could work on for some space. And I'm, what I'm going to do is give it a peek now to see. I'm looking to see that the queen has been released and is laying. Okay? And so what I have in here are just five frames. Five frames of bees, and I'm just going to do a quick look. I'm looking for a queen, is what I'm looking for. And I haven't even smoked this one really. It doesn't need much. It's just so few bees in here. This I'm not trying to grow into a full-size colony this year. I'm trying to grow them into a sturdy nuke that'll live over the winter, and then I will grow into a full colony next year. We're in Scarborough, Maine. This is um, drawn comb and a little bit of stores here. A little bit of honey from what was on the frame and this is honey that they have put away in foraging for the last couple of days right there. So I'm putting that back. This one here is what I call space. It's drawn comb. It gives a place to the young bees a place to work because the young bees after they get to be five or six days old they start to want to sweat comb. They start to want to sweat wax and make wax and so what they do is they need a place to do that and we're giving it to them. So I'll set that down for a second. Put this one back here. No queen yet. And what I'm looking for is a marked green queen. It should be a northern mated queen from Vermont. We're here in Maine. Here's a heavy frame of um, stores. This is where I had the queen cell before. And this is some burr comb that they built up that they built that up and I'll get that out of the way so that they have that that's actually cured honey there that you're looking at and what we're doing here this is a frame of food so they've got a good frame of food and a good frame of space and they're putting honey away instead of I don't see a laying queen yet and she better be on this next frame they're calm so they're telling I think they're telling me that I've got a queen here. They're not buzzing, they're not roaring at all. There's some brood. And so what I'm looking for is my green queen. This is brood that I put in when I made this nuke up. This frame came out of another colony and I don't see my green queen yet. And that frame, I see, I see pollen I got lots of stores here. This colony is going to blow. There she is. Woo, baby. I see her. There she is, right there. My mated, northern raised Vermont Carniolan Queen. No, not Carniolan. She's a mutt. She's a, she's a mixture of three or four different strains, but she's a dark bee. You can see the dark color there. Yeah, she's very big. Some of you guys can see her here. And what she is is right there. And I want her to start laying, honey. And so I'm looking for eggs. I'm looking for eggs with the sun over my shoulder, but the sun went behind a cloud. Come on, honey. Show me eggs. Eggs are hard to see. I don't see them there yet. They might be shutting her down just a little bit. I got some milk brood. I would not see anything other than eggs from her. And I'm going to put this back in in just a moment. She's a happy girl. An egg is just a small piece of rice. You, you focusing in on her? She I'm nice trying, and focused there? Yeah. yeah. And you can see the different size of bees here. I don't see many drones, which is good. What you're looking at around the edge here is drone comb and the burr comb that they had built up. And there's plenty of frame space on this next frame over for her to lay. So, 
that's the deal. And then the next frame here, very gently put her back in. And then this last frame here is frame for her to frame for them to work on with some comb there. The young bees sweating out comb. These are these are bees that are they're of the age where they're looking to make it and they're start, I don't see the white stuff yet. They're just starting to you'll see them start to fill this out with white wax, which is young wax. And then I got a frame here and I got a frame to lay on over here. And if this doesn't have brood on it, they're putting this away. This has got empty space. I'm going to put this empty space one. This frame here has empty space on it, so I want to have a brood nest together. And I'll put that brood nest. This is a solid frame of food. And then this is more space for them to work on. So I got some good brood that'll hatch. I like what I see here. So you, you moved the food away from the brood? I moved the food away from the empty frame so that she now has two frames to lay on together. And they'll keep the brood nest together. They can, they can heat it. They can take care of it better if the brood is together. Um, space and space to work on here. Food and hatching brood and place to lay new brood right there. Okay. So, thanks for checking in. Redbrook Farms, Scarborough, Maine. And uh, check us out on the web, www.redbrookfarm.com.